Hi, I'm Svero from Hornet Plugins. Today, I'm here to show you Hornet Frex, our free spectrum analyzer. Uh, this spectrum analyzer is uh, very peculiar since it offers uh, uh, two different visualizations of your spectrum. It, it allows you to see the regular digital one way with, a, with the graph and the frequency distribution you are used to, and a novel analog one inspired to a hardware unit that is uh, still in use uh, in uh, mastering studios because it allows you to have uh, a good overview of the spectrum balance uh, using uh, uh, just the LED bars. In this case, they are 31, a little bit more than the original hardware unit because we found it was more useful. So without further talking, I will um, show you how the plugin looks and how it works. So this is uh, the analog view of Hornet Spectrum, or Netflix, sorry, and this is the digital one. And uh, uh, on the upper side, you have, of course, the controls to switch between analog and digital. And uh, you have a range control that allows you to change the range of uh, the levels shown by the plugin here on the, uh, on the vertical um, side of the graph. And uh, you have an integration time control that allows you to change how fast the um, spectrum analyzer reacts to changes. So one second, uh, one second is a, a good uh, uh, time overall, while four second is more to see an average level of the spectrum and um, 20, 20, 250 milliseconds is uh, more if you want to look, if you have uh, some uh, very short resonances that you want to fix. You also have the option to look both at uh, the mono parts of the signal, that means uh, uh, both left and right channels summed together, or the side part, that is the difference of the left and right channels. So this is very helpful if you want to inspect your stereo image and see if uh, there is something that is, um, must be fixed and uh, if there, you have some um, uh, stereo problem in the low end, for example, uh, or in the, everything you may come up with um, just looking at the stereo, at the stereo uh, image of, the, of, the, of, the, um, of your tracks. Then you have the peak indicator. With this button, you can enable uh, the peak hold of the spectrum analyzer. And of course, you can reset the peaks. You also have a load and save button to load and save presets. So this is pretty standard. So if you want to see how it looks, uh, just, um, I'll just play this track that is an unmastered one. So you can see how, um, how the frequencies are distributed. So this is a pretty standard spectrum analyzer. You can change the speed, for example. With the last choice of four seconds, I was looking more at the average level than to specific peaks. And uh, if you have seen hovering the mouse above the graph will show you the level and the frequency at which the, at which the pointer is. So we know that we are at 116 Hertz down 23.9 dBs. And if we go to the analog mode, we have the same information with the frequency and the peak at that frequency. So uh, because it's, it's easier to read uh, the specific level since 1 dB corresponds to one division given of the scale, there are 12 dBs. So if you take 60 C, negative 60 C dBs and divide by 12, you get 6 dB per lead. So, um, This is how it looks. I will uh, usually use the peak turned off because uh, 
you have to uh, look at the spectrum analyzer and see um, the movement to better understand uh, the analog view. This view is very useful because um, just looking at that, you know that if you are picking around yellow or, or the first led of red here, uh, up to once 160 hertz, uh, down to 63 or 50 or something like that. And uh, if you are working on the green in the mid area here and uh, a little bit uh, at this level over here, you are having a good master because uh, um, a pink noise signal on the spectrum analyzer will just light all the LEDs at the same level. So uh, since you are aiming to pink noise-like uh, shape for a good master, uh, you, you just looking at this, you can uh, understand if you are in the right direction. course, this track is unmastered, so um, it's not right, but with uh, just an EQ, we could already be fixing that using an EQ and the spectrum analyzer to help us get on the right spot. So this is Horner Frex, and uh, it's available for free on our website, www.hornerplugins.com. So you can go there and download it. We only ask for you to share the um, info of the plugin with your friends using uh, uh, Twitter or Facebook and uh, you can get the plugin for free. Thank you very much for watching the video.